Well, Fox 51, good day is your local election headquarters. The first presidential debate of the 2024 campaign season has wrapped up. President Biden and former President Donald Trump touched on several topics during the debate last night, including the ongoing border and immigration issues, the state of our economy, as well as reproductive rights. We're now joined live in the studio here with Smith County Republican Chairman David Stein to discuss the parties viewed last night, uh, excuse me, how the parties viewed last night's debate. David, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So my first question for you, of course, initially, what are your thoughts uh, as you had a chance to sleep on it? What are your thoughts after last night's first presidential debate? It, it was pretty much the same as the first impression. Uh, as a Republican, uh, we were very pleased with how things went last night. I thought President Trump was wonderful in, in how he approached things. Uh, I think there were folks who were expecting him maybe to morph back and be more combative. Uh, he was presidential. He articulated his points. He talked about his record. He tried to stay away from the personal issues. Unfortunately, President Biden went there first and the president was well prepared to respond, uh, but he stayed on point. He talked about the things that are affecting Texans and affecting the American people, the economy, the border, uh, our standing on foreign soil. All those things are vitally important to us. And this president, the current president, has had three and a half years in office to do something. And frankly, it's been a disaster. And I'm looking forward to a change. I'm so excited about this first step. And just like you mentioned, David, of course, the economy, it's a huge uh issue for a lot of Americans as we go into this election in November. Uh, of course, both Trump and Biden talked a lot about what they have done for the economy. At this point, who do you think America going into the November election trust more, Biden or Trump? Well, as far as the economy, uh, th there's no, there is no argument as far as what, what has happened. So uh, the voting last night, I saw a CNN poll that said uh, Trump won the debate two to one. So that is very telling when you're talking about CNN viewers. But on the economy, the, the record couldn't be more clear. We are all paying more at the grocery store for what we are buying. It's costing more for milk, bread, and eggs. Uh, I'm part of a number of nonprofits, and giving has been very challenging this year because the discretionary spending that Americans have to be able to give and help others is diminished because we're all having to pay more today for what we were buying for less yesterday. With the southern border, um, what Biden had to say from what the moderators asked him, did he give you any confidence in his responses that he can continue to work on maybe fixing some of the problems we still have there? No, he said, and I'm looking for the exact quote, uh, but he said there are less border crossings today than there were when I took office. And that is 100% categorically false. Uh, I, I was I was with someone last night and they they mentioned the comment this was a Democratic spokesperson who said that that the fear mongering that's going on talking about the border is wrong. Well, 12 million people crossing our border illegally is not fear mongering. It's catastrophic. It's a disaster. It's wrong. And Texans have had to pay more money. Our governor has had to act at the border to combat what's going on because the federal government will not do their job. Finally, David, uh, really quickly, my final question for you. Uh, is there anything that Trump needs to build upon for the second debate in September? Very quickly, because we just have to move on. But I, I, appreciate I, I think he needs to do what he did. He looked presidential, and I think that's the biggest thing that people want to see. He had capture of his information. He spoke clearly and articulately, and he made his point, and it is clear that Biden is not capable and he is feeble and he looked that way. He looked bewildered the entire night. All right, um, David, thanks so much for joining us here this morning. We really appreciate you coming in early on this Friday morning.